What's up guys? This is my initial ride on the 2024 KTM 300 XCW. I haven't watched a single minute of content from anybody else on this bike and I've been riding it for 45 minutes or so and I have some thoughts as I come down this trail. Um, so I rode this bike at the uh, KTM Enduro launch there in Ohio and I was ranting and raving about the forks because uh, it's the brand new exact closed cartridge fork. and. <clears throat> And I was like, these might be the best stock forks I've ever used for an enduro bike. And I still think that's, that's the case. Uh, the trail getting up to this point, there's a lot of rocks and sharp edges that I hit. It was much rockier than it was out in Ohio. And it's not, of course I say that now, it's not like the trail super smooth. Um, and there's a hiker, well, he's up here ways. There's a hiker that helped me drag the bike up onto the trail. I got, I dumped the bike off the trail because of a, a log and he helped me lift it back up on the trail. Super nice guy. But, so it's, I've had a chance to check out the forks. Let me shut up for just a second. I just stopped and talked to that guy. Super nice guy. Um, anyway, so the forks, so they, Here's the thing. I don't think they're probably, it's probably not as soft as the old forks were in the initial stroke. I couldn't tell in Ohio because it wasn't rough enough, but here it is rough enough. Again, not in this exact location, but getting to here, I went through some rough stuff and I'm like, the initial stroke isn't probably quite as plush as what the old forks were. However, overall, I think the progression is more linear and I think it's going to be, it's better in the mid stroke. So I think probably everyone is going to be, is going to like them better. Okay. Um, and I think they're great here. Okay. Now let's talk about the motor for a second. Again, I'm sorry. It's just like the smooth sailing part of the trail. Um, but this is good. Maybe so I can just talk to you the motor. So I've got the 300 XC. Uh, the last time out last week, I was on my 300 XC. And then today I'm on 300 XCW. It, the 300 XCW is a quite a bit um, softer on the motor. Um, it's, and, and they come with, this bike didn't come with a map switch, but I played around and as near as I can tell, they come in the hot map from the factory. That's what KTM has always done. So, uh, yeah, it's in, I'm assuming it's in the hot map. Everything I've read as far as like the switch, I, it's, it's hot map, but this is much more muted power than my 300 XC. I don't love that. I mean, and they're doing it for traction purposes, but I don't love that. What's going to happen now is everybody's going to want to like try to probably try to turn their XCW into an XC as far as from the power. So the people that are really wanting to lug and have, tr I don't know, like traction, they're going to love this. Um, but other guys who want more of a fire breathing dragon and want the bike to feel more like they have been in the past. I don't know. I don't think you, I think you're going to be a little underwhelmed. It's just a little bit softer of a motor. Now, do I think they all need to be fire breathing dragons? No. Does it have enough power? Yes. But it's just, it just, the hit is a little softer. And what's, you know, on the TBI motors, which I've had several of them, this is a TBI motor. They've all run a little bit hotter than this one as far as like more peppy, more snappy. This one is my least snappy one. I had the uh, 300 XC and the 250 XC from 2023. Those are TBI motors and I have a 24 300 XC currently. All of those motors have more snap, more pep than this in its current XCW 2024 mapping. And I'm not, it's okay, but I just feel like, you know, a lot of people aren't going to like that. They're going to want the bike to have a little bit more snap, a little bit more pep. That's what my gut feeling is, is that people are not going to love that part of it. Sure, it's smooth and there will be a contingent of people that will be like, oh, cool. But there's this other contingent of people that are going to be like, hey, where's my power? Give me my snap and my 
snap to attention back. Um, that's just kind of what my thought is. And I'm not saying it's a ton, it's just, it's like it's a little bit detuned from the XC. And I think I'd rather not have it detuned, if I'm being honest. Um, <clears throat> let's talk about uh, the frame and the rigidness. Yes, I do think it is uh, now having gotten it here. I do think they are, it's a little bit more rigid overall than it used to be. Like my back end is kicking a little bit more than I think it did on the previous Gen XCW. Um, my gut feeling is that's gonna make the bike a little bit better for the little higher speed stuff. Not that this is a high speed bike, but I think that with the changes that they made to the frame, the geometry, the front fork and the rear shock, I think it's actually gonna be a little better for the higher speed stuff, which makes the bike probably more versatile overall. But then I'm like, but then why, why do we get like the detuned motor. So here's me being dead honest with you guys. And this is one of the reasons why you maybe have watched me throughout the years is like, hey, look, I really like KTM bikes. I think they make the best overall enduro bike out there. However, it's not, I've never said they're perfect and they, they make improvements to them all the time, but I don't think all of them, they don't all land with me. You know, all the quote improvements, they don't all land where I'm just like, oh, this is bad A. And I think that it's a little, the power is a little muted and I don't love that. It's funny because like riding it in Ohio, I wasn't 100% certain, and I, I think part of that was because the elevation was so much lower that the bike probably felt it had more power at that lower elevation, and it was more similar, you know, to what, but, but now that I'm riding it up here, I'm probably at 85, 8,000 feet right now, maybe 8,500, I'm not exactly sure currently, and up here, I can feel the difference. I'm like, huh. This is a little bit more muted on the power. What's that? Would you have to have some spare water? I, I actually have a lot of water in a water bladder. Oh, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. I'll show you how we can do this. Hold on. Thank you so much.